do the weather. Listen, I have to do the weather because um, we have a contract with the FAA and we have to do it seven times a day and then it also gets reported so all the airplanes that fly by here know that it's good weather to fly. How's it going, moms? Good. How are you doing? Good. Um, did you hear Gary, Gary and Dr. C is coming out? Oh, yeah? Yeah, she got tested for the, the COVID because... Um, she wasn't feeling too good. Another person coming out here that might have COVID-19? <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> but hopefully not. Dr. M, Dr. C, and Shana? Yeah. Oh, man. Gotta stay strong. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's always fun having them out here. Just hope they don't have it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I mean, I ought to go home and start selling some of my guns. I mean, the gun market and the ammunition market right now is going through the yes, roof like a Yes, like everything. Yeah, like, people are keeping their guns close by. <laughs> so, like, that's not really going to stop the coronavirus. <laughs> no, if they don't want people taking their guns. Yeah, that's what they They don't want people well, taking their guns. Right. They're on their, yeah, their toilet paper. Yeah, their toilet paper. All right, change of plans. Yeah. Uh, weather's looking amazing. Uh huh. So I want to load up our sleds for a trip to Marsh Strip. Okay. We're gonna leave here, bring six bags of horse feed each to Marsh, and then we're gonna go to the Upper Wood lot, bring a trip to Rainy, back to the Upper Wood lot, and then to Rainy again. Yep. And then okay. we'll be done with that camp. Okay. Cool. All right. Still going crazy with the COVID-19 in town. Do you want to go back? I don't know. Why are you asking me that now? I'm just One thing you should be worried about is keeping your trailer upright. <laughs> This is going to be a great start, you guys. Just three more loads of firewood here, and this camp will be done. Then we just have about six other camps to do with firewood and horse feed and propane to get all ready for next season. All right, let's head home, boys.
a crazy day, wasn't it, Travis? Mm -hmm. Long. Stevie lost his load like nine times. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Hey, guys. How you doing tonight? Tired. You guys as sore as I am? No. No? <laughs> no. Probably not. Man, Travis kept drop, tipping his sled over like all day long. And we were just oh, talking yeah. about how you were. <laughs> I know, it was me. Yeah. Well, that was a good day. It feels good to get that camp just about done, huh? All right, sleep good, you guys. Thanks for help. See you in the morning. Want a hug? No, it's okay. I'll wait till you're fully clothed. Good night. Love you. <laughs> no, I'll wait till you're clothed. <laughs> would be the first time. <laughs> All right, see you guys in the morning. See ya. trail be careful and don't get stuck because it's going to make it a lot harder for you guys okay be easy on the machines okay all right see you in a little bit Guy goes into the doctor and says, I don't know what's wrong. Sometimes I'm a wigwam, sometimes I'm a cheeky. Doctor goes, You're too tense. That was not a knot that I tied. Just kind of naturally happened. Got a siphon. You know, it's pretty neat to have my nephew Shaner out here working. And to remember when I used to haul firewood with him when he was eight years old. But now to watch him working with my kids loading firewood. is just 
just really something special. Dr. C came back negative for coronavirus, so that's good. Have you been feeling okay? Yeah. Well, it's kind of like a nice sigh of relief that like everybody seems to be feeling better now. Come in. Hey, Bucky, how's it going? Okay. What you up to? Oh, you know, Savannah's sleeping, playing with the kids. So what do you think about all this COVID and social distancing stuff going on? It's sure different and going to change our country for a while. Yeah, definitely. But, you know, this is my 57th hunting season here. I'm 78 years old, and I've been practicing social distancing for almost 60 years. <laughs> Perfect, Anch so you're used to it. Anchorage is the nearest road 125 miles away by air. Mm-hmm. And the nearest neighbor is 35 miles by air, no roads. Yep. The last time I visited them was at least 35 years ago. <laughs> oh, really? 35 yeah. years ago? Yeah, that's right. That's social distancing. That's social distancing, that's right. So you're doing better than I am. Because, see, I'm <laughs> used to being around people, and you're used to not being around people. Are you worried about the hunting season and how this is going to yeah. affect the hunting season? It's going to change our country in a lot of things. Mm -hmm. You know, the people have to fly commercially to get to Alaska. Right. So we'll just have to see what happens, but at least it's still four months away. Yeah. Hoping for the best. Meanwhile, we got to get firewood and horse feed to all the camps. And Yeah, life keeps going out here, right? Nothing's changed out here. Yeah, that's right. And we don't want the virus. Yeah. <laughs> Sunday fun day today. So take some time off for yourselves, rest up, Sunday the day of rest, we're going to get it on again tomorrow, okay? Alright. Alright, have fun, take advantage of the day. Hey kids, you're going to shoot next, but remember the gun safety rules, and you never touch guns unless mommy and daddy are there. Got him in the butt. Okay, get him, don't touch the trigger yet. Okay. Oh, a little low. Me and Look at the third one. Ready, sweets? Okay, go ahead. She's really looking. Go. Is the safety on? Is the safety on, babe? This one doesn't have a safety. Well, she can't pull it. There you go. There you go. Stay back, there. Last one. Ready? Yay, 
Good job, sweet. Good job, Savannah. Good job, Savannah. Yeah. Okay. So, Cross country. Yeah. So you know how I brought mine out, right. and my first time it was like not very good, and I fell a lot. Yeah, so yeah. I came back and I told Steve, and I was like, "Well, okay. So I grew up skiing. Haven't skied in a while, and it was a little ugly." Um, and he was like, "Skiing's so easy," and I'm like, "Oh, really?" So now I've challenged him to ski. So to get on the ski and ski down Bucky's Hill and see if he can oh, do that without falling. Oh wow! So we'll see. He's downhill ski, but never <laughs> yeah, cross country, country before. I know. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even stand. That's it. That's all that goes in. Yep, that's all that goes in. So these, you want to keep it, it like this. So you put your hand in like this and then down. I don't have to do it. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not good. Surprisingly better than I thought. Hey, Shainer. Hey. I saw you flip. Yeah. You're not quite ready for the Olympics. <laughs> What do you think? Hey, Shaney. Yeah. Um, Shannon called the other day, mm -hmm. and she would like everybody to do a Zoom call with the whole family. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd yeah, be so you everybody. can see the cousins and see how everybody's doing. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear us? I don't think you guys unmuted can hear us. Muted by the host. No. I don't think they can hear us. Because no, we're unmuted. You are unmuted. Yeah, there we go. No. Ask right. if they can hear us. Can you guys hear us? Yeah, we can see. We can hear you. Okay. What? You can see us too. <laughs> What'd you say? Hi, Hansi, baby. <laughs> Hi, Hansi. How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Hello, Lila Bean and Wyatt and Jana. There they are. Hey, hi guys. Knox. Is that a yawn, Knox? <laughs> That's not bad. We've got. Uh, we had a block party. We did not have a block. Yesterday in our front yard. We had a social distancing block. Where everyone had to stay 10 feet away, but yeah. it was actually really nice. Yeah, it looks really hot there. We sold out of all of our ammo <laughs> a couple weeks ago. All the 9mm ammo was gone. Really? Wow. Yeah. We've got lots of it here at the lodge. When you go to Home Depot and Lowe's, there's a lot of people there buying stuff for uh, house projects. Oh. <laughs> and a double run of eight what? is ten. Oh, <laughs> Oops, that's the... 15, two, 15, four. And there ain't no more. There ain't no more. But look in here. So I know you were talking to the banker yesterday. What do you think of that short term loan that they're giving for small businesses? <sighs> I have mixed feelings. They're, I think it's a good idea. They're trying to help, you know, states that are having shortfalls of business, keep employees working instead of, you know, laid off and on unemployment. Mm -hmm. But I just don't like the whole idea of bailouts. So if they're loans and they're paid back and their interest loans right now at 1%, mm -hmm. you know, I think that, that would help out. Businesses. I can agree with that. But if they're forgiving them all, and they're just, you know, bailing people out. I mean, so now they're going to bail out every small business. I mean, we can't afford to do that. We'll bankrupt our grandkids in the tax years. Yeah, that's true. So I really have mixed feelings about it. Yeah, I like um, the idea with the, you know, low interest to help people through this. Because some people are definitely hurting. The other thing we got to go over pretty quick here is what we're going to do breakup wise because it's going to come pretty quick last year um, it went out early so yeah it got warm. and the news said it was the coldest winter on record in 21 years mm. 
Steve is going to have to get his plane back into town or else oh, we won't yeah, be able to land true. it like could. We're going to need to um, decide who's staying and who's not. We're and staying out through we're May. We're going to stay out right? because we're planning on traveling in April and May and we can't. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about Stevie and Carly? Um, I mean, that's kind of... Go on. Kind of up to them. Um, we don't need everybody out here, but if they all stay, we can't all leave in June. May and June. And I know Carly doesn't want to be out here for you know Funny. the full gamut, thirty for two. We can talk with them and see what they want to do. Um, I think we could probably go another ten days out here. Long bangs. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right, here we go. It was getting too long, you couldn't even see it was in your eyes, huh? Yeah. Oh, put your shoulder down. Look down a little. There you go. I want to. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, he always does that. I want to cut your ear like I did clay. Oh, they think that yeah. COVID is not just um, fevers and lungs. It's, it's coming out as a GI distress as well. Oh. So it just seems like the symptoms are <laughs> all over the board. And some people don't get anything. Yeah, and some people don't get anything, so it's confusing. Yeah. So like they say, it's going to peak in the middle of April and then kind of hopefully dwindle down, but then like kind of peak again in the fall. So oh, um, I know, right? Which is super scary I'm because still... that's when all our hunts are. I know. We think that, that that's a far ways away until, until it comes, until it comes back, circles back around. It's just like such an uncertain world we're living in right now. It, we just, you can't plan like anything. It's so odd. I know. Like I've never lived in a time that's been like this before. It's like a movie. And you're so used to planning. Right, yeah, I'm a planner, so I'm dying. I am social I and I'm a planner, and this is really affecting me. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Good. Look yeah. handsome, bud. Get the grill going. I didn't even know he could. He had those skills. <laughs> I will see if it works. Late night. I got it cooking. I don't know what's going on with it. But look at the sunshine went away with a snowstorm. Look, you cooked more steak than I did. <laughs> you had left I didn't cook them. I didn't pick them. I just cooked them. Try and my best to not like Good day, love. Yeah. Awesome when we can spend time together. Yeah. When you're not working all day. I know. You know, um, I don't know whose idea it was to do the Zoom call with the family, mm -hmm. but it's like, how many years have we been coming out here and we've never done a call like that with all our family? Yeah. It's like, it's crazy it takes something like the coronavirus or something bad going on for us to step back and you know, remember what's most important. It's definitely nice. Nice to feel connected because that's the hardest part for me about being out here is just being just so disconnected to yeah. my people. Yeah, you know, the call really got me thinking how, like, it seems like our world is just, like, spinning, like, so fast. And, like, all the technology that's supposed to, like, make things, like, easier on us just makes us more busy. You know, there's more things to check on our phones and like this whole situation is just like a good time to like slow down, take a step back and like remember what's important in life, you know? Yep. Good chance to 
focus on our spiritual life or read a good book or call a friend that we haven't talked to or forever and, you know, spend time with family, you know, do a board game night or maybe I should cook you dinner some night or... Oh, yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> then I in... think it's hardest for kids because kids don't understand, like, younger kids, like, Dawson doesn't understand why he can't see his cousins or play with his friends, which he doesn't really... He's not in Anchorage, so it's not that big of a deal, but he still misses them. And then they just are just not at the point in their life that they can understand the importance of taking this time with your family. Yeah. Good lesson for all of us, though. Yep. Sleep good. Okay, you too. Love you. Love you.